Live holy. Amen. Amen. Twenty-four hours a day. Every moment we get to be what we are. Got to be holy. Amen. I thank God for the words. Amen. Amen. We got to have what love in our heart for all people. Amen. We don't have the love, we're not gonna make it into the kingdom of God. Amen. We gotta have forgiveness in our heart. Amen. But I thank I thank the Lord for the powerful words. Amen. I thank God how you used to pastor. You may be seated, amen. Amen. We're gonna be uh in the book of Enoch again, amen. Continuation also. Amen. In the book of Enoch. And we're gonna be going eight through ten. And today's subject is going to be uh, Okay, Satan reveals secrets, okay? We know who Satan is. Satan is the adversary. Amen. He is the adversary. He's the devil. Amen. He's the demonic. And to reveal, he's revealing means to show up. Uh-huh means to uncover and revealing secrets, things that are supposed to have been kept, amen. And what secrets are you revealing? He revealed some of the secrets that were supposed to have been kept from man, and then he revealed them to mankind, him and demonic forces, amen. Why you see so much trouble here on the earth, amen, because man got a hold of knowledge that he did not have the wisdom to use properly. We're going to see some of this in the book of Enoch. Now, we said before, now, you know, we do well if we do the 66 books that are, written, that are in the Bible and the Torah. These massive books that are, the truth been taken out. And Enoch is one of them. You know who Enoch is? He's one that was what translated, amen, and he never did see death. God did not kill him. God, he did not die. Amen. And so, he had, he gained a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom. Maybe he was in the kingdom of God. He's in the kingdom of God. And so we're just talking and explaining, you know, where, you know, we're not telling you, you have to accept this, but you should put in my heart to teach this book, to explain some of it. And so therefore, I, that's what I'm going to do. Amen. I have to do as the sure tells me to do. There's some very interesting things that are happening here that I think we should know why they're happening. And he not explains them very clearly what's happening and why they are happening. So we have to have an ear to hear. We got to be a growing people. Can't become stagnated. Amen. Amen. We become stagnated. Then we're, we're dead, you know. Amen. We got to we got to grow. Amen. You and we in, in this ministry we need to be ready to grow because it's God's ministry. We have to be ready to grow. Amen. Yes. Amen. Our way we come before you, most holy Father, to say thank you and give you the praise and give you the glory. Thank you for your word. And came forth from the apostle, Father. Thank you, Father, for instilling her, Father, with wisdom and knowledge to teach and preach the word, Father. Oh, Father, we just thank you. We have so much to thank you for, dear Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you for the coming words, Father. Praying, Father, that we get understanding, Father, of thy word and of thy truth, Father, that we will be a doer when we hear your word. We don't turn our backs. We don't plug up our ears, Father, and not hear your word, Father. But, Father, that we will hear and hearken and obey thy words in thy truth, Lord, according to your perspective. Help us, Father, so that we don't do evil, that we don't do wickedness, Father. Oh, Father, help us, Father. Oh, Father, so that we, Father, will walk in truth, that we will walk in love, that we will walk in righteousness, Father. In your word and in your truth, Father. Help us, Father, to not have respect for persons, Father, but that we all, Father, Oh, Father, we will become your children. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the Shabbat, Father. Oh, Father, we give you the praise and we glorify you, Father. We know that your words are blessed, Father. But bless us with understanding. 
and with the real power to do and to obey, to walk according to your truth, Father. In the holy name of your home, we do say amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Abby Elwood. Enoch 8. And Azazel, which is the, the, the demon, the devil, you the head leader. Amen. Azazel was the angel. Amen. That had fallen from grace with God. Amen. He, he taught the other angels to turn away from God. Amen. Walk in wickedness. Walk in evil. He wanted to go there and have a relationship with men. The men, uh, the women. The humankind. See, man, I'm talking about humankind. He wanted to have women. He wanted to bear children with them. Which was the evil. And so, when he got kicked out of the kingdom, he, he did this thing here. He says, and Asa taught men to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them and bracelets and ornaments and the use of acrimony and the adorning of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones and all coloring tinctures. Taught men how to what make war. In other words, use swords for to kill, to slay other people. Knives. Taught them about makeup, ornaments, earrings. And see them with, and, and reason we're saying this now here, because Yeshua doesn't like makeup. Okay, this is one of the reasons why, you know, don't adorn ourselves with the ornaments, earrings and whatnot, because we weren't supposed to have that. See, when you tell something about makeup, people are trying to do what they think they can improve on what God has done. Can't do it. How can an imperfect person make more beautiful something that God has already done? Huh? You're trying to say that, oh, you need to improve on God's work, so you need makeup. See, people got to understand that when we're holy, when we're righteous, when we're walking in the way of the Lord, we're already beautiful. Amen. Can't, can't, can't improve on God's beauty. No, sir. Don't have no shame in the way that we look. Amen. We need what? We need to keep our bodies clean. That's it. Amen. But we keep our minds holy. We walk holy. We walk in reality. That's it. King, King, how you gonna beautify that that God is already beautified? You think that you got the knowledge and you have the wisdom to make something more beautiful than God? Can't do it. So you place you trying to place yourself above God. That's why you know the scripture say you know. And that's a Jezebel spirit. Yeah. Amen. So you you think that you can do better. Yeah. It's an evil spirit. That's an evil and wicked spirit. And see, most people don't understand that about what makeup and all that. You, you, you want to get mad. Well, I got this showing. I got that showing. So what? So what? You don't, you don't want to be pleased with what God has done for you. Amen. Oh, people, oh, 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 different shapes and different sizes. Well, we come in different shapes and different sizes. Amen. Shape don't make the woman. Sorry. You know, shape don't make the man. You know? Amen. Sorry. You know? I ain't hear that. <laughs> okay. And 
so I told him about all color, you know, all this type of makeup and stuff, the eye or an eye eyelids, how to color your eyelids and all that. See? And all that is what a necessity. Mm -hmm. But it's a distract. It is. From the beauty that Yeshua has what created. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And there arose what much wickedness. And they committed whoring, and they were led astray, and then, and became corrupt in all their ways. Simulasa taught enchantments and root cuttings, amorous resolving of enchantments, Baraquel, astrology. Corbel, the constellations. You best here, the knowledge of the clouds. Notice these are sciences that we call sciences today. And a lot of it is witchcraft today. You start talking about enchantments and stuff like that. So when you start speaking of witchcraft, you understand why you sure hate the spirit of witchcraft. Amen. He finds it was detestable. He said, I suffer a wish not to live. Yes, Amen. Yes. Yeah. Why? Because this is an evil. It's a wickedness. Yes, it is. And Satan brought this all about. You know, they, they began to teach men these things. They knew the things that Yeshua hated. Yes. These demons. Were. But yet they taught them to mankind. Why? Because they wanted to destroy mankind. Because they knew that they themselves could not enter, re enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. See, we had to have an understanding. I want us to have an understanding of why God is coming against all these things. Well, you can see it here in the book of Enoch, does this. It explains a lot of things. You know, the Bible goes into it, the 66 books goes into it. But you're not going to bring out some of the reasons why, you know. Yes. You know. See, so we can go into deeper details now. Why does God hate the spirit of witchcraft? Why does he not want a witch, why does he suffer a witch not to live? We can understand that it's evil with him, but why? See, now we know where it's coming from. See, that's how come, you know, God says, pick up your word. Read, study, understand Him. That's where we're going to get our understanding is from Yeshua. Where we have knowledge and wisdom is from Yeshua. Amen. God says, I want you to know of me. I want you to know my way, how I feel, how I think. So that's knowing a person's way. So like I understand my wife a lot of, a lot of times. You know, sometimes I don't. I ain't going to say I do it all the time, but... Most of the time I do, because I understand the way that she thinks. I understand the way that she, you know, uh, she operates, the way that she walks, the way that she talks. Now, at first, I did. And then I would think that something different. I would think wrongly about the way that she thought or the way that she, she, she does things. Mm -hmm. But then after getting to know her, then I begin to understand more about her, and this is the same thing with Yeshua HaMaseya. That's right. See, we got to understand how he operates. He wants us to know him. That's right. And that's what he means by establishing a personal relationship with him. We got to know God. God knows us already. Yes, he does. Yes. He knows us. Oh, yes, but we got to what? Know oh, yeah. him. Amen. Yes, See, a lot of times we want to think that, oh, well, God is doing this, or he's saying this, or he doesn't want us to enjoy ourselves, or he doesn't want us to uh, uh, have life. He wants us to have life. He wants us to have enjoy the life that we have. That's right. And he wants us to have life more abundantly, but he wants us to live what? React. Holy. Have holy thought. You know, to be purged of all our wickedness and sinful deeds. Amen. Be cleansed. 
So we gotta understand where a lot of this evil and a lot of this wickedness came from. See, we gotta we gotta understand where it came from. It didn't just happen. Thank you, Lord. He says, Ariel, the signs of the earth, Susiel, the signs of the sun, and Shemiel, the course of the moon. And as men perished, they cried, and their cry went up to the Shemiel. Uh huh. To the heavens. See, and we got to understand what is going on and why it is going on. Yes. Okay. And that upside down. Amen. Amen. Now, when I get ready to say Kodesh, that means Kodesh is set apart. It means to be holy. Okay. And the Shemalan is what? The heavens. So we, 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 I'm going to give us the terminology so we'll get the understanding of, this, of these words. All right? Okay. He says, now here, with nine, we're in nine now. You're not nine. And one. And then Megiah, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from the Shemalian and saw much blood being shed upon the earth, and all lawlessness being wrought upon the earth. See, these are the angels, these are the the mighty angels, some of the mighty angels of God, the leaders, the head angels. Amen. And they looked down from heaven and they saw the evil and the wickedness was being done and being performed here on the earth. You know? And so they made a cry. They made a special cry out into the sure. So I'll be out with They made a special cry to the Holy One. And see, Right now, they're looking down from the heavens, from Shemalea, and they're seeing all the evil and the wickedness that's being done and it's being reported to God Almighty, to our Creator. Yes, Lord. Because of all the wickedness that He sees, all the hatred that He sees, that yes. they're seeing. And they know that He's not pleased with it. And he's not. God is looking down on because he brought it to his attention. He says in two, and they said one to another, the earth made without having it have it to cry the voice of their crying up to the gates of the Shemaneh. The cries are going up to the gates of heaven. The evil that's been done, the wickedness, the sinfulness, the lies that are being told, the horn and the whoredom that's going on. Every wicked and simple way, the murder and the killings, they're reaching the gates of heaven. Amen. The evil deeds that are being done are reaching the gates of heaven. Yeah, Lord. All the bloodshed is reaching the gates yeah. of heaven. He says, And now to you, the Kodashim, the Kodashim, the Holy Ones. Of the Shivanim, 
the beings of men make their petitions, saying, Bring our cause before the Most High. So you got people, you got men, you got women crying out against the sins and the wickedness going on in this earth. The saints of God, those that are holy, have been separated, are crying out yes. for the souls of others. Hallelujah. For that this wickedness and this evil will come to an end, come to a, you know, cease. Yes. See, when, we, when we're holy, when we really are, see, we, we have a duty to do. We got to cry out. Yeah, Lord. See, we got to make that cry to God so that it be heard. That's why, you know, we cry out saying that Yeshua had told us what the bombard of the heaven. He said, I got a special time for you to cry out. I wanna, I'm going to be listening. I want to hear. Yeah. Six and nine o'clock. Amen. We see the evil and the wickedness going on in this world. We need to be worth crying out against it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We even know ourselves. We see some of the things that's going on in ourselves that are not right. We need to be crying out against it. Amen. Asking God what to help us to get right. Deliver. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Because why are they going up to the heavens? God is hearing the prayers of the righteous. The prayers of the sinners you don't hear. Amen. You don't hear the prayers of the sinners. Not walking. In holiness, not rock walking in, in Torah. You don't know, hear prayers. Amen. When we see our children and our grandchildren and our sisters and our brothers and our uncles and our aunts, our mothers and our dad, and we see the witness that they're doing, we need to cry out for them. Oh, I love them too, but I know I can cry out for them. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Yeshua. You got children that are homosexual, they're gonna cry out against that. Yeah. Cry out. They, they, they give up their case, amen. The homosexual, I'm talking about both lesbians and uh, homosexuals. Yeah, I am. I cry out against this wickedness. Hallelujah. When I have children that are going on and they're having sex relationships without being married, they commit yeah. fornication and adultery. Hallelujah. Wow. I want to cry out against it. Yes, Lord. The voice is going to cry out against it. That's right. When they get divorced, amen, for no reasons. Cry out against it. I cry out against it. It's sinful. It's wicked. You see people just shedding blood, killing one another for no reason. These wars. You got to cry out against it. I'm crying out against it. We have so much to cry out, but we act like we ain't got nothing to do. Let's watch TV. Let us watch Jeopardy. Let us watch a uh, uh, Family Feud. Let us watch this. Let us watch that. That's right. We need to pray. Amen. And then, in order to pray, we got to be living a life so that our prayers can be heard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we must live a word of Riyadh's life. Yes, Lord. Can't be like the sinners. You gotta come against sin. Yes. Can't be wicked. You gotta come against wickedness. Hallelujah. Uh, we want we want to be a party people. We want entertainment. I know when you go to a lot of these synagogues and churches and you want to go to and be entertained, you know, we were talking about that this morning. People go to these churches and stuff like that and they don't know, or know do they have any understanding what was spoken, what was the word about, what did God say, what was the preacher speaking about that God said. They don't have no regulations of what was said, what was preached, what was taught. I don't think they know they had a good time. See, it's not about going to church having a good time. Going to church, being entertained. We got to learn about what Yeshua wants of us. What He's expecting of you. What God wants. That's a good time.
come here expecting to have a good time, well, you better be ready to get into the Word of God, man. Amen. 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 He says, and now you, excuse me, number four, I need to be going forward. And they said to Yahweh of the ages, Master of masters, Elohim, a mighty one, sovereign of sovereigns, and Elohim of the ages, the throne of your esteem is unto all the generations of the ages. And your name, Kadash, and Magnificent, and Barak, unto all the ages. I want to bless all the ages. It's Barak, his name is Barak, it's a blessing. To all ages. And I was to all generations. To all whoever lived, whoever came before, and all that will come after us. His name is blessed. Because of what is salvation. Amen. Amen. It's salvation in his name. He can save us. He wants to deliver us. Yes. That's why he's going to what, make a new earth. A new heaven and a new earth. Yes. All this stuff is getting ready to be what? Thrown away. It's getting ready to be shaken up. It won't be in the new kingdom. In God's kingdom. It won't be no more evil. It won't be no more wickedness. It won't be no more sin. Hallelujah. All that make it into his kingdom, all whose names are written in the book of life. Yeah. We, we will all be with cleansed. We will all be purged of all, all evil, all weakness and sin. We won't think upon sin no more. Yes. Sin will never again be in the enemy of the kingdom of God. Or to God's people. It's going to be a new day, a new earth. A new way of living. And I don't know about anybody else, but when I look all around me and, and I see all this evil and wickedness, I don't ever want to see it again. Hallelujah. I don't want to, I don't want to see evil. Amen. I don't want to indulge in evil. I don't want to indulge in wickedness. Amen. Yeah, come on, God. Encourage me by coming for him, pure. See, I want my robe to be spotless. I don't want it to have any stains on it. I don't want it to have any wrinkles. I want it to be iron. I want it to be smooth. I want it to be Thank you, Abby. He says, You have made all. And you have power over all. And all are naked and open in your sight. And you see all matters. And none can hide himself from you. There's nobody. You can't hide from God. You cannot hide from him. He sees everything. He knows everything. Hallelujah. We think that we can go up there and throw a rock and hide under the cover. You can't do it. Can't do it. God sees it. He sees everything. Yes, He does. He sees our every thought. Yes, He does. There's no denying. You can't deny. Oh, I didn't do that. You can't tell God I didn't do that. You Amen. can't lie to God. Amen. And God, He's not going to lie on us. Amen. So he, can't, he can't lie. That's right. That's the truth. What He speaks is true. It is true. Oh, please. Amen. He, we can trust. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. They said, you see what Ezekiel has done, who has taught all unrighteousness on earth. See those things that we had mentioned earlier, they're all what unrighteous deeds. The makeup, the lie, all that was, is unrighteous. The horn is unrighteous. See, now what guy, he don't like a horn. He don't like a horn. Hey, guy. No, we don't. And 
one time, if we had, if we ever had a sexual relationship about being married, we've been, huh? been a hoe. We, we have been a hoe. I, I, I have been a hoe. Amen. But the thing is that now you should be able to say, I used to be a hoe. No, it's it, not still be. Can I still continue on being a hoe Amen. and make it to the kingdom? There are so many things that I have done when I look over my life, when I look over my hand that I have done that I'm totally ashamed of. Amen. Yes, sir. But at least I'm not still doing those things. Hallelujah. That Yeshua what has cleansed me. He's cleaning me. Yes. Beautiful. Amen. I'm still in the process of being cleaned. Yes. I have not made it there yet. Yes. He's still what cleaning me. Purifying me. Hallelujah. And that's what we want to see. All want to be, we want to be pure before yes, we come. Sir. When we come before the Almighty, Amen. we should want to be holy. We should want to be real. We should want to be. We should want to give up our what our old ways. The old man. We should be letting it what die. The old person. The way we used to do things. Amen. Every wicked way. Every evil deed. We should want to stop doing. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. That's why we keep on telling people there must be a change. It's got to be a react change. Yes. That's when we bless it, when we get a what? A react change. A Holy Ghost change. The way, the evil and the wicked ways that we used to do, we no longer want to do them nor desire. We want to make a change. Amen. We want to, we want to press on God that, Lord, hey, I thank you. We want to show him that, hey, I love you, Lord. I want to do the thing. I want to be a pleasing vessel unto you. I don't no longer want to be that filthy, nasty. Amen. Hallelujah. Pile of filth that I once was. Mm -hmm. no, Thank you, Abby Owen. He says, You see what Azrael has done, who has taught all unrighteousness on earth, and revealed the eternal secrets which were in the psyllium, which men were striving to learn. The secrets that were in heaven. Man was striving to learn, but because of man's attributes, because of man's evil ways, God did not want to share it with him because man was not ready. You know, that's like it was like let's best way to describe that. That's like giving a baby a box of matches and letting them play with it, huh? In a room full of paper, a room full of gas. The baby gets that matchbox and he says, okay, he starts striking. You don't know what to do. He's playing. Or putting a lighter in the hand. Amen. And he gets to play with They see the fire. It's fun to them. The baby's not, was not ready to receive that type of knowledge. Amen. Because that type of knowledge would destroy him. Amen. That's right. And we've seen it happen. In fact, we just saw that happen this past week. Where the babies was reported to got some a hold of a lighter. And burned down the whole house and they got and they got killed. The kids got killed. The children got killed. See. Certain knowledge, so you gotta, you gotta be in a position. They have understanding in order to receive certain knowledge. Amen. Show them. And men were not ready to receive this knowledge as we have. And see, God is angry because what? Satan revealed to them the secrets uh -huh. that were in the heavens. Because now, even today, Man cannot handle the knowledge. No, it's okay. Because 
They use it for what? Evil. Use it for wickedness. Use it for destroying. That's what in fact that's why Satan hates them. Because you know, if I give these babies these matches, they're going to burn themselves. They're going to destroy themselves. Destruction. Thank you, Abby. And Shimon Shasta, to whom you have given authority to bear rule over his associates. And they have gone to the daughters of men upon the earth, and have slept with the women, and have defiled themselves, and revealed to them all kinds. Of sins. They wanted mankind to destroy themselves with sins and wickedness. And they lay with the women, the angels, angels lay with the women. They had sexual relationships with the women. And with the wickedness and the evil was what helped bring about the destruction. He says, and the women have what born giants, and by this the whole earth has been filled with blood and unrighteousness. So by these evil acts, by these wicked and sinful acts, the whole earth got filled with what? Blood and unrighteousness. Sin. Sin. And who brought it? Satan. See, don't think that Satan is your friend. No, he's not mine. He's not Satan is not your friend. No, he's not. Don't think that Satan loves you because Satan don't love you. No, no. Satan wants to see you destroyed. Amen. Amen. He wants us to be destroyed. Yes, he does. Just how come we had to put on our war clothes, we have a battle mindset, because we're at war against Satan. Amen. You better be at war against somebody who wants to try to kill you and steal you and destroy you. Amen. But when it comes to do, to kill, steal, and destroy. That's it. Now if you think you want to, if you're friends with somebody that wants to go up there and kill you, to destroy you, then you're more stupid than what? Huh? If somebody wants to see you destroy, he don't want you to live, he wants to destroy you. And you want to be friends, you want to hold hands or something like that? No, sir. Understand why are we always the prophets, the angels? No. They came against Satan. See, when we say that we're children of God, we got to come against what? Sin. Sin. We got to come against Satan. Because sin is what? A destroyer. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sin and wickedness is a destroyer. It wants to destroy us. How can we be friends? How can we want to associate with sin? And we know that it wants to destroy us. Send us away to that burning hell. That's it. Amen. Yes. And as saints, as being holy, as being real. We should have it in our heart. There should be our number one desire. I want to destroy sin. See, we want to get mad at people. We want to get angry at people that want to destroy us. But then you want to hold hands with Satan. You want to hold hands with sin. You want to hold hands with wickedness. Amen. That's what we should be wanting to destroy. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you.
good. And now see the beings of those who have died are crying and making their petitions to the gates of the seven end. And their lamentations have ascended and cannot cease because of the lawless deeds which are wrought on the earth. These prayers will not cease. Cannot cease. Why? Because of the lawlessness, the wickedness. You got to cry out against it, and they got to continue to cry. Man. How can we, as saints, as being holy, as being renowned, be joyful and happy when we see our family, our friends, and other people, our neighbors, being destroyed by sin? How can we dare get lazy on our job at being saints? How, how can we go up there and say, well, no, we're not going to do this part of the uh, uh, tour, we're not going to do that uh, uh, tour, and it's all for, for the salvation of us. Because God is demanding of us Total obedience to his Torah. Total obedience to his word. And I am. Yes, Lord. And when we call ourselves his children, then that means that we're going to obey every word that comes out of his mouth. When we say that we love you, sure, when we say we love God, and I am. we have to strive to obey every word that comes out yes. of his mouth. Glory. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to try to find fault in God. Ain't no fault in it. How do we find fault in God and fault is in ourselves? It's in myself and I ain't God. Hallelujah. It's in me. Hallelujah. Not in me. See, that's the lie that Satan is trying to plant, implant in the minds of people. And he's, doing, and he's doing a job of it. Because now we see today that people, that whole Torah and how our leaders in the city got, they're saying, oh God, what is wrong? They want to justify their sins, they want to justify their wickedness. They won't cry out and say those that are doing racism, they're wrong. They don't, we don't have no heart. We don't have no love. There's not a man, woman, boy, girl, or child that I hate. Amen. I don't care what you did. I don't care. I may not be in agreement with what you did, but I ain't gonna hate you. I'm gonna pray for you. And for your love and keep going. And for your mercy. I'm constantly gotta be worth praying for self. He says, and you know all matters before they come to pass. And you see these things, excuse me, and you see these, and you allow them, and you do not say to us what we are to do to them in regard to these. Say, Lord, you're seeing all this evil and all this good, but you have not told us what to do. God is telling us what to wait, to pray, to live holy, to live we are. Because all this evil and all this good is going to come to an end. He wants to give people a chance, a space of time to what to repent, to get it yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. We look at our own life, look at the sin, the evil, and the wickedness that we want to walk in. We better be thankful that Yeshua gave us the opportunity to repent. 
that Yeshua got on that torture state for our sake because he committed no sin. He committed no wickedness. Hallelujah. I don't know about anybody else, but hey, I have to grab hold of his hand and say, thank you, Lord, for loving me so that you took on my sins. You took on my wicked ways. And that you gave me what an opportunity to change. Yeah. And see, that's why I gotta have my mindset striving on doing it that is holy, doing it that's real, doing it that's righteous. I gotta have that mindset for myself. Amen. So everything that Yeshua says to do, I want what do it according to his perspective, not to my own perspective, but to his perspective. Number 10. Then said the Most High, the Kadash, and Great One spoke, and sent Uriel, as one of the angels, to the sons of Limit, and said to him, Go to Noah, and tell him, in my name, hide yourself and reveal him the end what is approaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed and the flood is about to come over upon the whole earth and will destroy all that is on it. So this is why now we understand why the flood had to come about. Why everything had to be destroyed because of the evil and the wickedness that were prevailing on the earth at that time. Mm -hmm. Now the earth has gotten much worse. Worse. Uh -huh. The sins have grown, have intensified. Mm -hmm. The weakness has intensified. Yes. Now, the sin and the weakness that were going on at that time caused the earth to be destroyed. What do you think is going to happen now in the day and the age that we're living in? This time's getting ready to be destroyed by what? Fire. By fire. Mm -hmm. And you think that we have nothing to pray for? He says, and now instruct him that he may escape and his seed may be preserved for all the generations of the world. Okay. Giving the world a chance what to survive, to make it into the kingdom of God. Noah will have to become what? A righteous man, a righteous person. Yeah. We have to become righteous people in order to see more salvation come about ourselves. And again, Yahweh said to Raphael, bind Azrael's hand and foot. Azrael's foot, the devil said, bind him hand and foot. So Raphael, Raphael's the angel of God. One of the angels, high angels. And cast him into the darkness and make an opening in the desert, which is in Dugadel, and the God and cast him in there. Cast him what? The devil in the hell. And cast him there. And place upon him rough and jagged rocks and cover him with darkness and let him abide there forever and cover his face that he may not see light. To punishment. And on the day of the great judgment, he shall be what? Cast into the fire. Jesus. And see, this is what's going to happen. He said, you know, he's got to be cast into that fire, that eternal fire. And all his followers got to be cast into that fire. See, there is no escape for Satan. There's no, going to be no escape for his followers. Hallelujah. If people are demonic, want to be demonic, don't want to repent of sin, don't want to repent of their wicked ways. 
Holy Spirit judgment is going to fall upon them also. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. And today, change some of our ways. Change our ways. Turn from sin. Turn from wickedness. That we will become righteous. That we become react. That we become holy. We just does not come just from the lips, but it's gonna come from what I our heart. Yes. We gotta become a doer of the word, not just a hearer. But come here to the synagogue and hear the word of God, well that's good, but it's not good enough. But salvation is not just come to the hearer of the word, it's come to the doer of the word. You got to become what? A doer of the word. You got to live. And we got to do it according to his perspective, to Yahweh's perspective. We're not doing it towards his perspective, the way he sees it, the way he wants it done, and we're not doing it. Then we're still sinning. Amen. And we gotta do it exactly as he says to do it. Thank you, Lord. And on the day of the great desert he shall be cast into the fire and heal the earth. Which the messengers have what corrupted? The messengers, the angels of God, corrupted. Huh? The fallen messengers, the fallen angels, corrupted the whole earth, filled it with sin, filled it with wickedness, filled it with evil. Now the earth's got to be healed from this. Yes. The world, we got to be healed from it. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. It doesn't do us any good to get our bodies healed and we're still walking in sin. Because you're going to end up going to that burning hell. Amen. We got to get our hearts and our souls healed. Hallelujah. Yeah. He says, and proclaim the healing of the earth, that they may heal the plague, and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secrets that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their son. See, they received the wrong man were receiving the wrong knowledge. Or they were being what? The evil ways, the way angels had taught them. You're still walking in sin. Uh, a lot of people think that the atomic bomb, the nuclear bomb, they just came out, you know. It was the way that Satan had what revealed the secrets of the sun, of the atoms, that caused the destruction. See? Sin is about power. You can use power rightly or you can use power wrongly. And men's minds are always going to do it most of the time what? For destruction. Mm -hmm. For greed. For all the wrong reasons. Because they don't have understanding of how God works. And the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel. To him ascribe all sin. See, ascribe all sins to him, they say. Huh? All sin came from what the devil. He's the father of sin. So why would you want to go up there 
and worship him. Huh? He's a cause of destruction. The destruction is getting ready to come. Why would you want to worship him? Why would you want to give him honor? And every time that we commit sin, that's what we're doing. We give him honor to the devil. Give an honor to the evil one. Every time we tell a lie, every time we fornicate, every time we commit adultery, every time we commit homosexuality, every time we hate, Number nine, he said, And Yahweh said to Gabriel, Proceed against the half-breeds and the reprobates and against the children of whoring and destroy the children of the watchers from among men. Send them one against the other that they may destroy each other in battle for they shall not have limp of days. One, what? Destroy one another. Evil against evil. Wickedness against wickedness. And we see a lot of that going on now, these days. And we see a repeat. And no request that they make of you shall be granted unto their fathers on their behalf. For they hope to live an eternal life, and that each one of them will live 500 years. They had a hope to live an eternal life. We can't have life in sin. Cannot have life in wickedness. But you shall spend eternity in their burning fire. Amen. All they do with it, all they do won't repent of the sins and wicked ways. And Yahweh said unto Michael, that's Michael, go bind Shesha Yasha and his associates who united themselves with women so as to have defiled themselves with them in all their uncleanness. Sin. Sinful. Yes. Yeah. That's why God said what marriage is on. Yes. Marriage is on. Yes. Say it. And when their sons have slain one another, and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, bind them fast for seventy generations in the valleys of the earth to the day of their judgment and of their complete end, to the judgment that is forever and ever is ended. Tell them how many generations got to be done. Amen. Evil and destruction. And get ready to come again. The destruction, all evil, all wickedness, shall be done away with for the final time. The judgment day is coming. Now, again, we say that. You don't want to fall into the hands of an angry God. And God is angry. Yes, He is. He's already angry. Yes. He says, In those days, they shall be led off to the abyss of fire and to the torment of the prison in which they shall be what? Confined forever. Judgment Day said, What? To the fire and the abyss. You're not, there's not going to be an escape. 
that people don't want to change. They don't want to change their heart. They don't want to repent of sin. This is the torment that they shall face. Amen. That's true. See, that's why it's so important that we don't play games, but that we get take this very seriously and we beseech God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul. You help me, Lord. You help me, Lord. So I don't go into this abyss. I don't go into that burning fire. See, a lot of people say, well, I go to church and they think that you're all right. Come to church and I'm going to be all right. No, sir. They say, well, I preach your word. Preaching ain't going to be well, all right. Because what did the scriptures tell us? say, in that day, many will come before me saying I had did wonderful, many wonderful works in your name. I, part, I preached, I talked, I sang, I did this, I healed. Depart from me. Yes, sir. And he still said, until you depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Yep. Yep. So we better understand. A lot of people say, because I'm a preacher, I'm going to make it into the kingdom of God. The devil is alive. Amen. A lot of people going to say, I'm an apostle, I will make it into the kingdom of God. The devil is alive. Amen. Anybody Come on now. that does not obey Torah, does not walk in the way that Yeshua Hamas said, told us to walk, that Torah has told us to walk and to live, will end up in that burning right. hell. Yeah, that's the word. The word of God. Oh, no discrimination. Hallelujah. Uh, people think, oh yeah, I want to be a preacher. Well, you, you better preach then. Better live it. Huh? You better preach then. Mm -hmm. And preaching ain't just coming up here behind the pulpit. No, sir. Some word. It's, it's the light. Yes, sir. We got to live it. Yes, sir. And it's right. And it's right. He says, Amen. In number 14, he says, And whosoever shall be condemned and destroyed will from their own be bound together with them to the end of all generations. See? If you are condemned, you say you're going to be bound too. You, you're going to be in hell too. Whoever does wickedness, whoever sins, whoever refuses to obey Torah. I don't hear God gonna say, well, okay, if you're a preacher, you can be president, king, queen, whatever you want to call yourself. But if you go against Torah, you will have no power. You will be in that hellfire forever. There will be no escape. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And destroy, excuse me. I'm going to read all 14 over again. And whosoever shall be condemned and destroyed will from their own be bound together with them to the ends of all generations and destroy all the spirits of the reprobate and the children of the watchers because they have wronged mankind. See, when we sin, we're not only sinning against God, we're sinning against mankind too. Amen. It is like Apostle has got through sin, being a what? A stumbling block. Amen. Be in the stumbling block. Amen. If we are supposed to be saying that we're saints, saying that we're holy, and we become stumbling block to man, 
because I'm going to show you too. So it ain't but one way. It ain't but one way. Amen. One way to holiness, one way to righteousness, one way. And every man, woman, boy, and girl that wants to make it to the kingdom of God, that wants to make it to the kingdom of heaven, it's got to go this one way. Amen. According to Torah. We got to do it just like Torah says. We got to live it just like God says to live it. There's no other way. Hallelujah. And we, we, we like to always say, one God, one scripture, you know, one baptism. Love to say it, but everybody got their own way that they want to do it. We don't want to do it the way the Torah says to do it. People want to make up excuses why they can't live or can't do the way the Torah says. Or you can be weak if you want to, you can get weak and, and get weaker if you want to and end up in that burning hell. We better cry out for God, better cry out for Yeshua and ask for some strength. Amen. Ask for some power to overcome the yes. weakness of our heart. Yes. Yes. You better cry out and ask God to come in and take the stones of our hearts away. Yes. That we want to truly repent. Yes. And get it right with God. Hallelujah. You will live holy. Glory. Thank you, Lord. He says, destroy all wicked from the face of the earth. Notice it. Destroy what? Didn't you say some wicked? All wicked. Huh? All wrong. All wicked. Do we understand what wicked is? What wickedness is? The evil. Do we understand what that is? That's going against anything that you sure has told us to do. What the Torah has told us to do. When you go against it, that's wicked. That's what it is. That's wicked. All unrighteousness is wicked. Yes. Is he? And he says, and let every, what every, do you understand what the word every means? Everything, all, each. Let every evil work come to an end. He said, let it come to an end. Everything that's evil, everything that's wicked, everything that's unlike God, you better bring it to an end. Let it cease. Let it stop. Amen. If there's evil, wicked thought in our mind or in our heart, we better bring it to a stop, bring it to an end. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. He says, and let the plant of righteousness and truth appear, and it shall prove a barak. He says, what? Let the plant and righteousness appear, and it shall be a barak. In other words, it shall be a blessing. Amen. When we allow righteousness and holiness to come into it, it shall be a blessing, but it was going to give us life. I don't know about anybody, but I want the blessings of Yeshua. See, a lot of people want to think that the blessings are money, houses, and cars, but the blessing is going to be living this real word of God yes, by being a doer of the word of God. Yes, sir. That's the blessing. Yes, it is. See? Yes, sir. It's not just a healing of sickness, but it's going to be a healing of our bodies, our minds, and of our souls, getting all that evil and wickedness out of us. Healing from sin. Healing from sin. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He says, The works of righteousness and truth shall be planted in truth and joy forever. It's going to come out. 
righteousness. You see, it's gonna be a joy. What forever? I don't know about anybody else. But I had these days where I'm sad. I had these days, you know, when I'm, when I'm angry. Amen. I had these days, you know, where I'm just not happy. Right, you said. No, I had these days. Amen. Now God gives these things, gives us a chance, an opportunity to spend eternity in His kingdom, where there's going to be joy all the time. and happiness all the time. All the time. All the time. Now have the ups no and the downs. No no Won't be no what? No more sorrow. No sir. No more. See, it's a better life. Yes, it is. It's coming. And it's a promise that Yahweh has made unto his children. Oh, yes. And I don't know about anybody else, but see, I want to walk into that promise. And the only way I can walk into that promise is by becoming subject and obeying the word of God. And we all got to if we want to make it into the kingdom. I want the Barak of Yah. And then shall all the righteous escape and shall live till they bring forth thousands of children and all the days of their youth and their old age they shall what? Complete in peace. Yeah. That sounds like a long time for me. Yeah. You got to be four thousands of children. Huh? It won't be complete. It's going to, the, our days shall be what? In peace. Oh, thank you. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. He says, and then the whole earth shall be filled in righteousness and shall all be planted with trees and be full of what? A barak, full of blessings. Barak. Full of blessings. Uh -huh. Every day, you just be in the blessing, 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 blessing. I thank God now for the blessing. I wake up, I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. He allowed me to open up my eyes. Amen. I'm thankful. I, I was just thinking about we had breakfast the other day. And had had uh, a lima beans and and cornbread for breakfast. This is good for breakfast. Now, you know, y'all know I used to tell you I, I can't stay in lima beans, didn't like lima beans and stuff like that, but now, hey, I'm going to lima bean food, I guess. <laughs> and I'm happy to have them. Yeah. Yeah. The time when I thought that on the thing with brother, you could have some eggs, some bacon, some grits, or some rice, or something, some pancakes, some cereal, something, that's what I call brother. But now I've come to the terms that whatever I can eat for breakfast, hey, hey, I'm glad to get it. Amen. Yeah, bread, cornbread, and eggs, and tea, and a piece of bacon. I enjoy my breakfast. I was glad to get it too. But God wants us to have continuous joy. Yes, sir. To have our blessings every day. Amen. And understand that He's given us blessings. He's the one responsible for having blessings. Amen. Now, one thing about Yah, He's quite capable of keeping His promises, His words, and His truth. 
be speaker shall be done. Yes, sir. Uh, he's given us a choice. We can choose. We can serve Abu Yahweh or we can serve Satan and end up in that burning hell. Yes, see the choice is ours. Yeah, our destination, where we want to go, is in our hands. Yes, it is. It's up to us. It's up to us? Yes, sir. We can fiddle around, talk about I'll get it right tomorrow if you want to, but I gotta get it right right no, now. No, no. Hey. Right now. You know. yes, Changes sir. had to come about. And all desirable trees shall be planted on it. And it shall plant vines on it. And the vines which they plant upon it shall yield wine in abundance. And therefore, all the seed which is sown upon each measure shall bear a thousand, and each measure of olives shall yield ten presses of oil. In other words, that's just blessings and blessings. I'm talking blessings. Yes, it is. Abundance upon abundance of blessing that you sure how much said wants to place on that y'all wants to place upon his children. Amen. And y'all has a great desire that we as his children we want to bless him, want to obey him, and spend eternity with him as he wants to spend eternity with us. Yah wants to spend time with us, his creation. Yes, he did. He didn't want, he had no desire to see anyone going to hell, because you can't bless Yah from hell. You can't praise Yah from hell. No. They don't see that. You can't give Yah, thanks from hell. Thank you, Yah, for allowing me to come to hell. You're not going to be saying that. No, sir. And you sent your own praise yourself to hell? Huh? Through stupidness, through laziness? Huh? Not wanting to do, through greed, through selfish, being tight fisted? Oh, any little deed that takes us to hell. Any little sin can take us to hell. Yes, Any sin. And you cleanse the earth from all oppression and from all unrighteousness and from all sin and from all wickedness. And all the uncleanness that's wrought upon the earth, destroyed from off the earth. All of it's going to be destroyed. All sin, all wickedness, all evil. It's all going to be destroyed. You might want to hold on to it. You can hold on to it you want, but it's going to go to the, to the burning fire called hell. Amen. Everything. The earth is getting ready to be purged, getting ready to be cleansed. The, the heavens and the earth are going to be, what, they're going to be shaken. And everything, and, and nothing's going to be able to hold on to it that's not cleansed, that's not pure, that's not real. Now you can hold on to unrighteousness if you want to, you can hold on to evil, you can hold on to sin if you want to, but you're going to be shaken. You shall be loose. Amen. And you shall go into the abyss. You shall go into that hell fire. And it's a guarantee that once you get there, the moment, the moment that you touch hell, the moment, that very moment that you touch hell, you're going to regret forever. You're going to regret that you came there. You will not be pleased that you went to hell, that you chose hell. You will know that you most definitely made the wrong decision. Yes, Because it's going to be too late. You ain't going to be able to do anything about it. 
That's why I cry out so much for our children. For people in, as a whole, not just for children, but for people as a whole. Don't want no one going to hell. Hallelujah. Hell is not the place. It's one of Thank you, Lord. And all the children of men shall become righteous. And all the nations shall offer adoration and shall praise me. And when he said me, he talked about, and all shall worship me. This is Yah talking. All of us, all of us go worship him and praise him. Get it up, get it up. And that's what we want to do. We're to learn how to praise Yah now. Amen. Amen. Worship Him now. Obey Him now. Yes. But if you're not going to obey Him now, you're not going to get the opportunity to obey Him later. Amen. It'll be too late. You're going to end up in that burning hell. Hallelujah. And the earth shall be cleansed from all defilement and from all sins and from all punishment and from all torment. And I will never again sin upon it from generation to generation and forever. You're not going to sin anymore. Or it's going to be cleansed. Yes, sir. It's going to be purged. Hallelujah. We're going to go to the last one. Well, I said 10. But we're going to go to 11. Finish off at 11. And in those days, I will open the store chamber of Baraka, which are in the city, so as to send them down upon the earth over the work and labor of the children of men. He said, and in those days, I will open up the heavens and send down the blessings. The windows of heaven shall be opened. The blessings shall come down. After the earth has been cleansed, after the earth has been purged. And truth and peace shall be associated together throughout all the days of the world and throughout all the generations of men. Yes. Yeah. There won't be no more war. There won't be no more killings. Amen. Won't be no more torture. Hallelujah. We better choose now while we have the opportunity to choose. I know we said something this day that will help us make it to the kingdom of God. And like I said, that's a part of the book of Enoch. Amen. And you see what it's saying and what it's telling us. And we are hoping that we get some clarification. Yes, sir. Of why these things are happening here on earth. Who God is, who Satan is. That we get some clarification on what is evil, what is wicked. Yes, sir. And see how these things came about to earth. I think. I thank God, amen. I give God the praise and give Him the glory. I'm going to turn this over to the hands of the Apostle. Amen. In your hand. Let's give your sure some hand clap of praise. Hallelujah, Lord. Let us stand on our feet. Hallelujah.
I don't know about y'all, but amen, I'm learning more. Amen. amen. And I see why, amen, we can see, amen, and we learning, amen, how Satan, amen, enter, amen, the earth. Yeah. Why he entered into the earth. Amen. And after he got down here in the earth, amen, all of these, amen, all of these spirits, all these demonic spirits, we know now, amen, that all of these demonic spirits came from Satan. Yes. Amen. Nobody but Satan. Amen. amen. That's why he don't want to see none of us human beings, amen, to be a holy people. Amen. amen. He don't want to see us holy. Amen. But we better get holy and we better stay holy. Yes. You amen. that are holy, we better stay holy. Yes, sir. You that are not holy, you better get holy. Amen. Because the time is winding up. Amen. Time is winding up. Amen. Structure is in the land. And Yeshua, amen, is angry. And he is furious. Amen. Because sin came up to his nostril. And sin stinks to the nostril of God. Amen. amen. That's the word, y'all. Amen. And I appreciate Yeshua. Amen. For the man of God, for the word of God, for the word of God. I just praise you sure for each and every one of you. Amen. This is the pure gospel of Jesus Christ, Macyonic community. We are right here at 4935 Highway 84 of Frisco City, Alabama. We have service here every Friday evening, if the Lord's will, at 6 p.m., which is the beginning of the Shabbat. We also have service on Saturday at 11 a.m., which is, amen, the seven-day Sabbath. we right here at 4935 Highway 84 of Frisco City, Alabama. You are welcome. You are welcome to come and be with us in any of these services. Because if the Lord's will, we'll be right here. We also, amen, like to say if you like to write us, amen, concerning, amen, the service or want to know more about us, amen, and how we're doing and what Make us, amen, uh, while we keep the seven-day Sabbath, whatever questions you may have. Or if you want to, amen, be a blessing to pure gospel, you can write us. Pure gospel of Jesus Christ, Macy, on a community, P.O. Box 824 on Monroeville, Alabama, the zip 36461. If you would like to email Chief Apostle Norman Ghostin, you may do so. His email address is jesusman at frontiernet.net. Again, if you would like to email Chief Apostle Norman Ghostin, his email address is jesusman at frontiernet.net. If you'd like to email myself, Apostle Carrie Ghostin, it's jesuswoman at frontier.com. Again, if you'd like to email me, it's jesuswoman at frontier.com. If you would like to call us, you can call us at Ericor 251-593-3683 or 251-593-3671. If you call us or email or write us, we will get back in touch with you as soon as possible. We also, amen, like to encourage you to pray with us every evening at 6 p.m., every night at 9 p.m. Amen. These are some designated time that Yeshua has given us over the years. And amen. We've been faithful. Amen. We've been faithful. Amen. Keeping these times. Amen. Praying, crying out. Amen. For whatsoever Yeshua put in our spirit. We crying out for souls to be saved, souls to be delivered. Hallelujah, crying out for this world. Amen. We just crying out for everything that we can, everything that Yeshua put in our spirit. Because we can look around and we can look at ourselves and we can look at our family. We can look at our children or their children. Hallelujah. We can look at our loved ones. We don't have to look far. And we can see that we show sure need Yeshua Amen. to save and to deliver. Come on, Lord, we should. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yours may not be giving you any problem or any trouble now, but I'm going to tell you, by and by, after a while, you're going to have to hit the knees. Your knees going to have to hit the floor, 
and your head gonna have to bow. Come on, love this year. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Because I'm here to tell you, we don't know what no one is going to do. I don't even know what I'm going to do before I leave this world. Amen. So hallelujah, we don't have nothing to boast about. Nothing to brag about. Your cheer, amen, may be giving you your long life. You better praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Your husband, your wife may be giving you your long life. You better praise your sure. Come on, love your sure. You may not be having no storm and no rain in your life. You better praise your sure. Hallelujah, because it's coming. That's as sure as you live. Trouble got hit somewhere. Hallelujah, I'm telling you. I'm not speaking nothing on nobody. But this I want you to know. That's as sure as you live. Amen. Trouble is going to hit. Hallelujah. Trouble hit everybody. Yes. Trouble hit the saints. You know you're going to hit the saints. Come on, love your shit. Hallelujah. It hit the men's in the Bible, the women's in the Bible. Job was, was an upright man before God. But trouble hit his family. Trouble hit him. Come on, love your shit. Hallelujah. So we not above God. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to encourage you. Amen. Don't get lifted up in self. Hallelujah. Don't get lifted up. Don't get boastful pride in self. Hallelujah. Come on, love your ship. Because when you get like that, when you get find yourself in those areas, in those ways, you're messing up. Hallelujah. Amen. We also, amen, like to invite you, amen, to, to visit, amen, the PGJCM discount gas store and the Green Bearer, amen. We like for you, amen, to come by and visit. But you make a phone call. You can call us at 251-593-3683. Amen. 3686. Amen. 8336. Excuse me. 8336. Amen. We'd we like to come by. Amen. Make your appointment and come by. But give us a call at 251-593-3684. 8336, excuse me, 8336. Give us a call. Come by, amen. We have some discount cast display. We also have the green barrel. We can tell you more about it, amen. The cost is $777, amen, to bury your loved one, amen, amen. You don't have to have no embalming fluid. You don't have a, you don't have to have a casting, and you don't have to have a vault, amen, to bury, amen, with the green barrel. Amen. It's legal. Amen. It is legal. Amen. And that is the natural way that God was intended for us to go. Amen. But if you want to know more about it, give us a call at 251-593-8336. Amen. You'll be glad that you did. We love you all with the love of Yeshua. Your hand, Mother Let Cleveland said. Let's give a hand clap of praise.